Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome back to our lesson. This is our second lesson, and uh, today we're going to discuss filtering. So let's go to our file, lesson two file. So this is our lesson two file. So <clears throat> let's go over the tasks. We have four tasks. Excuse me. <clears throat> Number one, display all laptops only. Display all equipment which is not manufactured by Saris. Display all equipment checked out in August and September 2013. And display all equipment that begins with one. So let us define first filtering. So you can see all the verbs that was used in the task display. So when we say filtering, we want to display or just show uh, in our table uh, from the criteria that you're going to use or you're required to do so. Okay? So the first is uh, the first step is actually to highlight the headings. OK, so you can see here. Oh, by the way, so the table is actually an inventory of different electronic devices. And then when was it checked in, meaning delivered, checked out, when was the, it uh, sold? And then who check it out? So this is a, uh, a, a, a small table for an inventory of electronics. So let's start. So we're going to focus mainly in lesson two for this uh, command in the editing group of the home tab. So again, when you click that one after highlighting our, our headings, you click on filter. So the key here is the drop down button, okay, for each category or for each heading. So let's again go on to task number one, which is display all laptops only. So all laptops only, you can see here that the type of the electronic device is in column B. So you're going to click the button and then the first basic filtering is remove the select all and just click the laptop. Press OK and this is how uh, this is how we accomplish task number one. Uh, let's unfilter, meaning you're going to select all. Display everything is the reverse of filtering. Press OK and we're done. Let's go with task number two. Display all equipments, all equipment which is not manufactured by Saris. Saris is a manufacturer based on the task. Okay, so what we're going to do is to display an equipment which is not manufactured by Saris. So let's go back to the table. Saris is actually in the equipment detail. When you click filter and you remove select all, you can actually one by one uh, select that item, okay, that is not manufactured by Saris. So it's like the third uh, item 17 each Saris X-10 laptop. So you will not select that. So you select the others again. But this is a basic filtering, okay? So that's what we want to avoid. So advanced filtering is using a text filter right here. And we were going to select anything that does not contain SARIs. So again, from the beginning, I told you uh, wrong spelling wrong in uh, IT or yes in programming in advanced exam so since you want to filter and you uh, if you encoded a wrong spelling word then you're gonna have a mistake so that's 
click this OK. So basically, if you're going to see all the items, no satis will be displayed there. So that means you already accomplished task number two. So let's unfilter again. OK, and then task number three, display all equipment checked out in August and September 23, 2013. Sorry, um, this is the easiest part because automatically when you talk about dates in Excel and you want to filter dates, it's already actually filtered. So August and September 23 checked out. So you go to column D, click that one. You can see that it's already uh, grouped by month. So August and September. So just unselect all and click August and September. And that's it. Check out in August and September of 2013. So we're good with until uh, task number three. So again, unfilter, select all. Let's go to task number four, which is the last one. Display all equipment that begins with one. So actually, this is a vague task, but I will assume he's talking about the ID number. Uh, he might be talking about the equipment detail. If that is the case, uh, we just use text filters begins with one. Let's see if this will work. Press OK and you're good. OK. If you're going to use the ID number, column number A, so again, and select column number C. Let's see, number filters. Uh, with number filters, uh, we cannot um, um, treat this uh, data in column number A as text. So you cannot ask a begin suite and so on and so forth. Since you can see that it's a number or they are numbers, so you have to treat them a number. So how to approach that, I'm going to use uh, between, okay? Because since I'm looking for four numbers, you can see all these column A numbers are four numbers. And when you say starting with one, so it's greater than or equal to one, zero, 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 and it's less than or equal to one, nine, 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 nine. So those are four numbers that are possible to start with one. Other than that, less than that, it will not be uh, satisfying the criterion. And more than this 1999 will be 2000, of course. So it will not qualify. So press OK. And that's how you approach task number four. So it's either, of course, it's a big task. That's mean it's not clear. Either of the two solutions. OK, it will be correct for this task. So that's the end of lesson number two, filtering. So I will just unfilter this. OK, so I'm back. Uh, that's the end of lesson number two, filtering. So that's the first part. I'm going to continue with the second part lesson number two also, but sorting. So I'll be back. See you.